Hi, this is Rich with Rich Mount Photography, Sacramento, California. And I'm going to start doing some tips of the day because that's what this channel is all about. And I'm just going to try and express to you and show you little things that have helped me. And I'm not going to be doing one every day, but I'm just going to try and do as many as I can. So today's tip is really something that I recently started doing and it just really helped me a lot. And it, it might seem like a really small thing at the beginning, but it really is a big deal after a while because I use this tip, I use this trick on every single real estate shoot I do. Now, I always have uh, various lights. Um, I was looking around for my lights. I don't have any. Anyway, I've got one photograph, uh, one lighting me up, which is my uh, AD600 and I'm using the modeling light to put light on my beautiful side over here. But I always have at least one light on a stand and that light is usually a Streak Light 360. And I really like the Streak Light, Streak light 360 because it has a lot of power, it's not super big and heavy like the 600, and it is portable, but sometimes it's more than I wanna carry with me if I'm doing a smaller room like a bedroom. Or let's say I've got the, the light out in the room, I'm lighting something up, but I want a little light right by camera. So I found this trick, and I don't know if somebody showed it to me or I invented it, but either way, it's a great trick. It's putting a light, uh, a flash speed light pouch that comes with all of your lights. It's attaching it to the leg of your tripod, and you, can, you probably have dozens of these just sitting in a box somewhere all young Nuo lights come with them. All the um, Flashpoint Zoom lights come with them, Godox lights, Nikon pouches. This is actually a Nikon pouch that came with it. And it is just perfect. So what I do is I attach it to the leg of my tripod and I put a different tripod here to show you it could go on any tripod, really. And I have my light in here and the inside, I've just kind of cut away. There was a little pouch inside of the inside. So I cut that out to make it real smooth. And all I do is I keep a speed light. Now I also have my uh, base connector on here, which helps me grab the speed light. So I recommend attaching some kind of a cold shoe adapter. But even though you're going to be hand holding it, but sometimes if I want to put it on a light stand, I can just put it on a light stand. So I grab it out of here. And I also want to suggest that you grab it before you do your brackets so you're not touching your tripod at all. So if I'm going to be using this, let's say I'm finished with the downstairs, I'm upstairs, I've shot the master bedroom, which I use my streak light or all my lights that I'm using. And then I just want to go and pop, pop, pop real quickly to just do the bedrooms. Well, I don't have to carry a stand around with me or find my light and a light stand. I just have my light right here. So what I do is I just pull it out after I've set up my shot and I keep it off because the trigger on the camera, I'm not touching that. And I just have it right there, pull it out. I turn on my flash and I use it, light the little bedroom and I put my flash back in here. And I turn it on when I want it. Like for my ambient shots, I turn my flash off. Instead of having to turn it off from the trigger, I just turn the flash off. I do my ambient brackets, and then I do my la flash shot. I turn it on and do my flash shot. Bam, put it back in here, and it's so smooth and easy to do. So all I really did was I took one of these pouches, and it has a flap on it. I cut the flap off, and I cut out the little pouch on the inside that actually the Young Nuo pouches, that's where they keep the little foot for your tripod, for your um, light stand or you're going to put it on the bottom of your cold shoe to stand your light up. Now that is also something you can keep on there and just use it to grasp the light. I really like having a little thing here to grasp. But it's so fast and easy and I can't even tell you how great it is. Um, so what I do is I basically take, I have a leather punch that I use and I punched a few holes here for some regular zip ties. You know, you got these cheap little zip ties. And then what I do is I bring it over here to my tripod and I'm not going, I'm going to, to avoid actually uh, tightening it on, but you put it right there, do your zip tie, 
get it nice and tight. And for this light, I'm just gonna, this bag, I'm just gonna have two of them. And on this case, I did three of them. And it stays very sturdy and it works great. But the speed light will fit in the Young Nuo pouches, will fit in Nikon pouches, and uh, will also fit, obviously, in the, um, the um, Flashpoint uh, pouches, the Zoom pouches. So again, this is just a little idea, a little thing I came up with or I saw on the web. So if you invented it, give me a, give me a shout out and let me know so I'll, I'll give you credit, okay? Anyway, this is Rich with Rich Pound Photography saying, keep at it, shoot better, shoot smarter, aspire to shoot bigger, more important gigs and get more money so you can go and enjoy yourself, buy new gear, um, which we all love gear, and uh, spend more time with your family. And uh, we've got uh, all workshops coming up. We're doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. So anything that works for you, let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Send me an email. Send me a comment because I answer all my comments. Rich Baum, Sacramento, San. See you later. Bye.